and welcome to episode 4, the last one, uh, of the Clone Wars Target exclusive figures and today it is Hawk. Now he's probably the most sort of boringest one out of the lot to be honest, he's very plain, looks very abnormal, you know, he's got most of all his stuff there, but actually really, really looking at the actual character, just to get a couple of screenshots on Google or whatnot, there's actually quite a lot of details here. This needs a lot more kind of details in this part here. Obviously, I need to remove this kind of part here at the front to make it more symmetrical, because um, it really does does really bug me where it's not in a straight line. The tubes are the wrong color. This bit at the front here needs to be a bit gray, a bit similar to like the Scout Troopers, if you know what I mean. And I think the blue around here needs a little bit of a touch up. There's a bit of details on the helmet that are lost. And I think just overall, maybe replacing some of the blue as well i've looked at the actual character and he does have this very short stubbed 501st it doesn't spread out into the wire but being a pilot i don't think he sees a lot of action in that way so his weathering will be on the more subtle type so it's more of a shading kind of weathering and that we're going to go for this guy as well and then as there's not really much to the actual character itself we are upgrade his blast over by giving it all the nice paint decals and stuff as well so let's go Okay, some scary stuff here. It might not be a case that you need to do this, but my nose was obviously out of shape and misshapen, so I've had to cut around here. I slowly used the precision knife going around every side, not to actually cut into the physical helmet and try and get it through the seam from the below, up above and all that. And eventually I sliced through and it was a very nice clear cut. And then simply just getting the precision glue of Loctite, putting it into place and putting it where I needed it. So don't forget, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe. Also, smash that thumbs up as well. It's really much appreciated. If you ding the bell, you get notifications for my next episodes that are upcoming. So until then, I'll see you at the end of the video for an overall look at the figure. Bah! So here I'm using Dark Sea Grey X54, and I'm just filling in that nose part at the front of the helmet. So just using another grey with a little bit of black in there just to give a little more depth to the actual rebreather with those little line and dot inside and just applying that as so. Next up using the same grey just go over the tubes into his rebreather. And also with the same paint, we're gonna apply those extra details. As you can see in the rebreather on his chest, there's a lot more paint applications that need applying. So we're just gonna put those in there and just to bring a little more detail to that plain wet tablet. So next up, I'm just using the Winter Newton Blues just to marry them up to the 501st colour. Same thing we did for Echo. It's up to you, you might want to weather him up completely. I want him to sort of like down weather him. I want him to be quite a sort of a bit of a shiny, being a pilot and all that. Uh, so covering the blue again on his shoulders and then actually fattening up the lines around his lenses as well. So now we're just using a black wash just over the actual figure itself. Don't want to go too mad, just a few little bits here and there. So he actually ties in with all my other custom 501sts.
just to bring the gun in line with everything else you can use a gunmetal grey just to go over the top of it and also use some silver parts looking at all those little studs and screws and covering them. Clone Pilot Hawk, all finished, weathered, and ready to join all his clones back on the shelf. So obviously I tried to go back a little bit more. I tried to make him look more unweathered in this opinion. I broadened up the blue, uh, brought a lot more detail into that helmet part as well, as well as his rebreather as well. And I think he just looks a little bit better. I don't think really can add anything else to this figure, but he's still looking pretty cool. So what we've used, we used that black XF uh, which was the black wash over generally over the figure and then I've added in the little extra detail lines up there as well on his helmet. The other two paints that we have used is Ocean Grey 2 XF82 and that's simply if it comes into focus there we go uh, that was for the darker part of here and around on these tubes that I used that and the lighter part here uh, which is the dark sea grey I've actually used as the lighter part of the rebreather part in the middle there. I did add a little bit of black to the other gray as well, just to bring in the detail because it weren't shining through as much. But again, we've added those extra grays as well to these parts here on the front of his sort of like rebreather helmet part. Adding the extra blue, so the same thing I've done with Echo the other day, use these Windsor and Newton paints, uh, just simply just mixing them together to get that blue wash come up on here. It's not too bad, I suppose I could do again because uh, where it's so white underneath it's really sort of shining through but I thought after giving it a black wash it's not too bad and we've broadened up that blue around on here as well because it was just a little bit too faint but the main part was really getting this sort of voice part rebreather sort of straight so using a bit of Loctite glue and cutting it off and putting it back on it's actually more symmetrical than it was before maybe I'll need to go a little bit more clockwise now but it's a lot better than it was uh, going down just adding the black wash to the whole entire figure and finishing off the blue lines as well where I didn't want extra scuffs on the side we just use these blaster using the gun metal as well and the sum of the silver and using that nice field blue there for the grip uh, so bringing the actual gun into line with the rest of the figures detail so um, yeah pretty cool enjoyed this one and um, that's the last one of this series unfortunately Ooh, so we've got to wait for more figures but I will be bringing more figures down the line as upgrading uh, especially some older figures that we have in the background there but so let me know down in the comments down below which other characters you like to see upgraded you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook which is in the description so until next time take care and I'll see you soon bye